Hey, my brother, how you been? Well, I've been blinded by my own Worries and stories in the sense that I'm alone Heaven zips by a million more ships in the night And a trillion tons of gases from a billion silly asses And I still pray for the masses as we fight the bloody fight But bodies cannot stop these jacked up, gacked up ships in the night understand Project Smile and where it came from and why it's still going today, you have to go way back. And so for those that know me and those that maybe don't listen to this, uh, I was very sick growing up and um, spent lots of time in the hospital by myself. So I struggled not just when I was young but into my older uh, years in life dealing with loneliness and depression. And for those that struggle with those emotions, to understand how difficult that is and what a dark place that can be. So you look for ways and tactics to help pull yourself out of that. My parents taught me how to pull myself out of that and gave me tools and the tool they gave me was involve yourself in other people's lives. Try to put yourself in other people's shoes. Try to see what other people are going through because when you do that, potentially it can help you get out of your funk. So fast forward to 1999, I get exposed to, it wasn't called Project Smile at the time, I came with another group. And I, I don't know what I exactly I was going through at that time, but it reminded me of my childhood of like, holy shit, this is what perspective means. So I made a decision in my head and heart that I'm gonna keep coming back no matter what I do in life, um, because I need to help, but I also need this perspective in my life. I just see the team smiling. And as you know, if you're watching this, it's called Project Smile. And we're certainly clear on our mission is to go and make kids and people smile. It's a very simple mission. Bring some brightness to some dark times. But the real mission is that we leave smiling. And so when I'm on the plane, and I see the team, and I look myself in the mirror and I see myself smiling, I can say mission completed. And hopefully that carries on, that people that come on this trip, whether they work for Communo or one of my other companies, they go on and maybe they don't come to Mexico, but maybe they go to another country, or maybe in their home city, they turn around and say, I'm gonna help, because you know what? It feels damn good, and it makes me smile. Project Smile, here we go. Today is all about uh, feeding people that need food. Uh, again, very simple, but very useful. We get uh, tons of the staples, rice, oil, things like that. And uh, it gives me no greater pleasure in the team, no greater pleasure than uh, being able to hand someone a bag of food that needs it. What's the most uh, impactful thing you've seen so far, something that stands out to you? I think it was walking around door to door and handing out the leaflets for the food bags. Going door to door with our, our guide Naomi, everyone was really nice and getting to meet people and see, you'd, you'd see in the door behind them and kind of see outside, you kind of in your head, you're looking and you're like, there's a lot, there's probably a little house in there, it's probably similar to home and then you see and it's, it's a bed on the floor. 
and that's all there is in there and there's four people in that room. Got to meet some people who are really trying to make ends meet but were so welcoming and grateful. Uh, we got to talk to a really old lady who was actually infirm and had to stay in her house and her neighbors all came together and brought her coupons and brought her food which was incredible. So that was definitely eye-opening. It's a very good question. When you think about impact, it's very easy to slip into the micro, and it, this sounds maybe counterintuitive, but like, did the road get built? Did the uh, sanitation get better? Did we uh, make a dent or an impact in the amount of literal garbage that's everywhere in the neighborhood? And the answer is usually no. And that can be incredibly frustrating. But on a macro level, and Dave and Fred, the people that started this uh, down here in Mazatlan, have taught me many times to not get frustrated with that. You don't maybe see with your eyes uh, the incremental change, but what you don't see is the impact you make in a life in a gal or a guy, a child or even an adult that goes on to uh, be the next mayor of Mazatlan or the next lawyer that lobbies for uh, reform in some sort of part of the city that can change thousands of lives or hundreds of thousands of lives. And so um, it's very easy to get frustrated and I put my hand up as someone from time to time when we come here, it's like, are we even making a damn difference? Is this work and this time we're putting in useful? It's really easy to flip out a bunch of ideas of what should happen. Well, you also have to maintain that. Long story short, I'm really happy with what we did because I know that in the long run, it makes an impact. What has been the most eye-opening experience so far? Go into that that landfill yesterday was intense. What do you feel when you come? Driving up and then when we do the service and then when you leave? Well, literally, you, you feel a bit nauseous because yeah. the smell hits you. The smell hits you about uh, a kilometer away. Seeing people living that kind of day-to-day -day condition, I'm glad we were only there for a couple of hours. Imagine that lesson that these kids are growing up with seeing their parents dig through garbage. So I was filming a, a garbage truck dumping out hot garbage. These guys are out in the heat all day pulling plastic from hot garbage just to make a few dollars. Excuse my language, but why the f am I complaining about shit? Listen, desperate times call for desperate measures sometimes. And sometimes as you're watching this video, you'll see people literally combing through the garbage and scrambling to the latest garbage truck that has driven in because there might be some sort of jewel in there that's someone else's garbage. Can you imagine being pushed to that limit? A lot of us can't. But for some people that we see in these videos here, that's their life. And to have the honor to go give them a cup of cold, clean water, there's literally nothing better. If you're watching this video, you probably are privileged at least enough to have clean water and a house over your head and some internet. Uh, but there's people out in this world that don't have that. And if that is a perspective, I don't know what is. And so to be exposed to that you kind of feel proud of those people, right? You kind of admire them in a way. That these wonderful, hardworking people 
are willing to comb through garbage to pay for some a bit of food to put on the table, that's pretty inspirational. You don't need to watch another inspirational video uh, today. You should watch this one and see what these people do for themselves and for their families. It's powerful. And so people might look at what we're doing as um, amazing. Nah. What these people are doing in the dump for their families, that's amazing. That's hard work. The people here have a lot less than we have at home and are significantly happier. Hold on for one more day. I know it's not all getting better. We did a moment, should have a way of coming together. With a word that can't be spoken, but only says something. I guess I thought it would be sadder almost, and it's not. Everyone is really happy and the community is really excited all the time. Something's happening here when it comes to inner strength and choosing how you live each day. And I think that's something we can and should definitely bring back with us. It's what you make of it, right? The, the people here, just, no matter what the conditions, are just friendly and outgoing. And the neighborhood, the community here is just inspiring. I think a lot of that comes from a sense of community and what these people do to depend on each other. Because so when you come back year after year after year, you start to see the same faces and you see the same kids and you see them grow up and they get braces and then they start doing their hair and they take pride in becoming adults. As you know, if you're watching this, it's called Project Smile. And we're certainly clear on our mission is to go and make kids and people smile. It's a very simple mission. Bring some brightness to some dark times. But the real mission is that we leave smiling. When we go back and I talk to my friends and my family and my colleagues, and they ask, you know, how it was to give back, my first answer is always like, dude, do that. <laughs> We got way more out of this trip than we gave. And that is so true. And that is something I feel deeply inside whenever I go back, that I feel this sense of gratitude that the people of Mazatlan gave me so much. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. Ships in the night, are we? Miss each other entirely. Ships in the night, are we? Someone shine your light on me Someone shine your light on me Ships in the night are we